Hey everyone, I'm back um, and I'm going to do another video on navigation, this time on four and six figure grid references. So I've shown you how to take a bearing, I've shown you how to orientate your map, how to understand your map. So I'm going to quickly show you and explain about grid references four figure six figure and even eight figure grid references so for what i'm teaching for out and about uh, the most you'll ever need is a six figure grid reference a six figure grid reference is going to give you a, a rough search area of, of 100 by 100 meters so if you're looking for say the corner of a woodland you can get the grid reference for that point Okay, now it probably help if I explain what these blue lines are. These blue lines going north to south, see it? These are your northings, okay, and they're all numbered. See these numbers? 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, and so on for each given map. The ones going horizontally from west to east, these are your eastings, and again, they're all numbered here, look, so 10, 11, 12, and so on, and so forth. So any grid reference that you give or get, you're looking within one of these squares. So a four-figure grid reference will give you this square, which will be a one-kilometer search area, okay? A six-figure grid reference will narrow it down and break it this square up into a further 10. So a six-figure grid reference would give you a 100 meter square area, say, here at this cairn, or here at this corner of the wood. An eight-figure grid reference would break that down even further to pinpoint it to within 10 by 10 meters. I'm not going to show you that because I never use it. If you need to narrow down your search area even tighter, if you're looking for a specific... I can't think, geocaching, looking for something very, very specific in a very, very small area than an eight-figure grid reference. But for this, I'm going to show you a four-figure grid reference, how to find the square, and then a six-figure ref grid reference, how to narrow down in that square into a tighter area. Okay. So, northings and eastings. So when we're looking for a grid reference, I've given a grid reference, we go along the corridor and up the stairs to find the point. Okay, so for this video, let's use this cairn here. Okay, so I want to give a good reference for that point. Now, back to the compass. Remember I told you about the normings? So these are your normings. This scale is what breaks this square up into a further 10 segments. But make sure you get the right scale for the map you're using. Okay, so I'm using a 125,000. So this is the norming scale that I need to break down this. And if you look, it breaks it down into 10 further segments. Okay, has everyone got that? I hope so. So if I had a 150,000K, I'd be using this smaller one. So the square would actually be tighter. Yep. Okay, so the cairn. So first of all we're going to go along until we find our northing line, our first northing line. And we always aim to give the grid reference. Remember what I said earlier? You start in the bottom left hand corner of the square. So I'm looking for this square point first and then I can narrow it down further. So four figure first is going to be this point for this square. So I go along until I find this line which is my 61. So 61 is my first bearing for my four figure grid reference and then I go up so I find this line for this square and it's number 11 so number 11 would be my second for my four figure grid reference so 61 and 11 and you can see why I've chosen this area because if you chose an area up here, you have to go along and find the number. So for teaching purposes, this is just easier. Okay, so I've now found this is the square. 
of my four figure grid reference, this is my square, 61 and 11. So now I need to give a six figure grid reference to get my kern. So 61 now needs another number in it and 11 now needs another number at the end of it. So we'll do the same principle, we go along the corridor until we find our 61 our and then this time, if we line our norm and corner, the compass up to that, and then count the numbers. And as you can see, it's I'm back. Quick interlude. Uh, the uh, mailman turned up. Okay, so where was I? Uh, yeah. So we've got the four figure. So now the nine, the six figure, good reference. So we've gone along for our northings until we find our line which is 61 61 and now we're going to place our corner of my Roma which is the one in 25,000 scale so if I was using this scale here I'd put that corner into it yeah so put that slap bang in the middle so I've got 61 so then I would count one two three this is closer to four I, I'm guessing yeah Closer to four, so I'm going to say four. So four would go in there. Okay, so it's six, one, four. You see how it's broken this bit up? So we've gone along, found this line, and then broken it up further into ten segments. So then for the next one, we've got eleven. We've gone up the stairs to eleven. Again, placing our room in the corner and slap bang in the middle and counting down. One, two, three. So our next number is so our six figure grid reference for this kern is across 61 4 6 1 4 and then up 11 3 1 2 3 so there is your six figure grid reference for that point yeah now that you understand that principle you see how basically each of these squares is broken up into another 10 so if I was to say give you this point here wherever Sean is you could kind of figure it out without actually using your Roma you see can you get that you might never use this again once you understand the principle so again it would be across to 61 then along further I'm guessing that's about seven yeah and then up would be 11 and I'm guessing that's about eight so 61.7 and 11.8 would give me this good, ref good reference. So I hope that makes sense to everybody. All I can say is get yourself a map and a compass and practice with it. But that's your four figure and your six figure grid references made easy. Um, like I say, if you want to know about geocaching, then maybe some of your tools are your GPS stuff to get you directly to the point that you need. But for what I do, this is everything you need. So I hope that makes sense, everybody. Four figure and six figure good references. Thanks. Bye.